everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have another Heathkit SB200 in for repair. I'm going to go through it, do everything I normally do to, the, do to them. I have a Hartbach filter cap board assembly. I'm going to assemble and install. I looked at the switches. They look okay. Getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. So, I'm going to remove the soft start. Problem is, like I said, these resistors, they burn up if you ever have a short upon startup. Change the two caps over here. Oil the fan. And do everything else I normally do. Oh. I'm going to get to work and I will see you guys in a bit. The uh, relative power sensitivity potentiometer is seized, so I'll have to change that also. It's just the knob turning on the shaft. See you guys soon. Stay tuned. So I'm back with the completed SB. 200. This thing was a lot of work. So, new filter cap board from Harbach Electronics. Comes as a kit. I have to assemble it and then install it. Here's the old one. Touched up on solder joints on the circuit breakers. He had an LED bulb in here, so. I reused that, put meter protection diodes, reverse connected across the meter. I tightened up on the inner nuts. They were super loose. Just snugged them up, put some heat shrink on the wires where they come through the wall here. Cleaned the rotary switches with deoxy gold. New parasitic suppressor assemblies, lead length super short. New plate blocking cap, oiled the fan. So also replaced the pot, uh, the potentiometer. It's 100k. And it rotates. The other one was seized up. I'm going to flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Be right back. Okay, so here's the bottom. So I fixed the solder connection over here, where they parallel the dual section load air variable capacitor remove the soft start I was just floating anyway and those are prone to failing if you have a short pawn startup and then the customer can't fix it it's not needed because the transformers wound to limit the amount of inrush so I had to lengthen the wires used Teflon the electric wire I have tons of it so I use it with the silver plated stranded center conductor so I lengthened each one soldered, heat shrunk, and zip tied. Clean, clean the multimeter rotary switch with deoxy gold. Place this resistor was broken in half. Right here. Check the value of this resistor and that resistor. They were with intolerance and this one. Clean the contacts on the TR relay with deoxy gold. Change this cap over here. Change this cap over here. Someone Put in a SO239, they come with an RCA jack for the uh, connection between the amplifier and the exciter. And he just had screws going through with no nuts. So I took his screws out and I put 632 screws in with cap nuts and resoldered the wire, it wasn't soldered well. Secured the soft key really well. I put a um, like a wire hole down, and I also put some silicone between it and the board and a zip tie because the double sided sticky stuff on the hold down tab thing. One of these. So normally it comes with like a standoff, but I've seen where those loosen up and then bad stuff can happen. So even if it had that, I would still 
you know, add some silicone to, you know, it's like a backup. So that was already in here, and you know, someone went in here and did some some other stuff I had to clean up. But uh, that's about it for the bottom. Yeah, I'll show you the bot uh, the uh, back. Be right back. Okay, so here's the back. One of the 33 ohm resistors was blown in half. Someone had changed them at one point, and you know, so I put two brand new Allen Bradley 2 watt carbon comp resistors in here. They read like 33 and a half ohms, both the same. So they're in there, soldered really well. Bead lengths as short as possible. I changed the 200 puff mica cap between the grid and ground. I compressed you know, on both sides. I compressed the socket clips carefully and cleaned them all with deoxic gold. And I always check all the connections, make sure nothing's touching. Someone else did all of this. We cleaned the input rotary switch with deoxic gold. And this got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes and does it full output on all bands. So if you need an amp repair, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. 73.